Underfunded, outdated, inadequate. Germany's military, once renowned for its strategic might and technological innovation, has shaped European defense for centuries. Yet, the Bundeswehr now faces an existential crisis. Historical achievements in military engineering and strategy have given way to issues of underinvestment, outdated equipment, technical backwardness, spying scandals, and a pressing shortfall in personnel. But the shift from Germany's golden era of military dominance to its current predicament didn't happen overnight. As we peel back the layers of this complex issue, it becomes evident that the roots of this decline extend far beyond recent budget cuts or policy decisions. Welcome to Living History. From the early 20th century, two world wars and national division, the journey of the German military has been anything but straightforward. Given this turbulent past, when the Berlin Wall crumbled and the Iron Curtain finally fell, Germany, along with much of the world, chose to believe in a future where large standing armies might no longer be necessary. Yet the events of recent years, especially the stark wake-up call following Russia's invasion of Ukraine in 2022, have shattered this illusion, revealing a landscape of negligence spanning decades. And the picture that has emerged is concerning. Just consider this. Eva Hergel, the German parliamentary commissioner tasked with overseeing the Bundeswehr, recently published a report which shed some light on a series of, let's call them, challenges facing the German military. As reported by the Financial Times, the study has revealed, among other things, that the German armed forces' digital and communication systems are in a woeful state. Radios, dating back to the 80s, that cannot communicate with allies. Paper-only medical records that need to be mailed military documents sent by fax rather than secure email, and the list goes on. And all of this comes on the back of a recent Russian wiretapping scandal that reportedly took place at a top military meeting. And a German military intelligence officer being charged with spying for Russia just days later in an entirely separate case. Needless to say, this not only embarrassed the top brass, but also plunged the government of Olaf Scholz into even more political turmoil. These incidents, though, are only two of the many that underscore the broader issues that have plagued the German military for years, and are the culmination of decades of poor decisions, oversights, and at times complacency, demonstrating that the issues at hand are not just a matter of insufficient funds or modernization delays, but are deeply woven into the history historical and political tapestry of the nation. The roots of the Bundeswehr's current state stretch back to the post-Cold War era, a time when Germany looked forward to a future less focused on military might. In this new era Germany, under the leadership of Chancellors Helmut Kohl, Gerhard Schröder, and later Angela Merkel, chose to prioritize social welfare, economic growth, and European integration, allocating less to military expenditures. This shift was not without its rationale. The end of the Cold War seemingly heralded a new era of peace and cooperation, diminishing the perceived need for robust military forces. As such, the Bundeswehr, once the backbone of NATO's European defense, was no longer seen as a priority investment. There is, however, more to this story. You see, the reunification of Germany under Kohl was a historic achievement, yet it also required vast resources to merge East and West Germany, including the significant task of integrating two distinct military forces. This endeavor, critical as it was, further diverted attention from military modernization. Gerhard Schröder's administration, facing economic challenges with Germany being labeled the sick man of Europe during his tenure, introduced reforms to the labor market and social systems, further tightening the defense budget. And then, of course, there is Angela Merkel's tenure, characterized by a focus on the Eurozone crisis and the refugee crisis, which saw continued adherence to a policy of military restraint, all while maintaining a leading role in international diplomacy and economic stability. But then, of course, of course, in hindsight, the annexation of Crimea by Russia in 2014 should have been a wake-up call. Yet it wasn't until Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine in 2022 that Germany, under Chancellor Olaf Scholz, announced a significant policy shift. The Zeitenwende, or Turning Point, came with a pledge of 100 billion euro special fund for the Bundeswehr, acknowledging the critical need for modernization and enhancement of Germany's military capabilities after decades of underinvestment. 
But by this point, the damage had already been done. The vision of Seidenwende collided with harsh realities. Germany's failure to reach NATO's 2% GDP defense spending target for decades revealed a chronic pattern of underinvestment. The result? The task of modernizing the Bundeswehr encompasses everything from upgrading outdated tanks, ships, and weapon systems to addressing pressing cybersecurity concerns. The enormity of the challenge ahead is undeniable. Overcoming the legacy of underinvestment and adapting to the contemporary security landscape demands concerted efforts, strategic foresight, and a renewed dedication to defense principles. Crucially, it demands time. A commodity Germany may find itself short of should tensions between NATO and Russia escalate further. So, what's next? Transitioning away from decades of underinvestment, Chancellor Olaf Scholz's 100 billion euro special fund pledge for military reform signals a dramatic shift towards revitalizing the Bundeswehr. With this, for the first time in decades, Germany will actually meet its NATO pledge, allocating at least 2% of GDP to defense spending. However, while the allocation of this substantial fund aims to address critical gaps within the Bundeswehr, concerns linger over its sustainability. The reality is that the 100 billion euros will most likely run dry as soon as 2027. In fact, according to Defense Minister Pistorius, 80% of the 100 billion euro special fund has already been allocated. This brings into focus the pressing issue of ongoing investment in defense. As Hergel's report underscores, the Bundeswehr's needs are extensive and encompass a broad spectrum of capabilities and technologies. Meeting these needs demands not just a one-time financial boost, but a sustained commitment to funding that keeps pace with evolving security challenges. The mammoth investment challenge is, therefore, about more than just modernization. It's about securing Bundeswehr's future, and with what can only be described as the new Cold War emerging before our eyes, Germany would do well to take a lesson from its past. Historically, the Bundeswehr during the Cold War was a well-equipped force, prepared to meet the significant demands of frontline defense against the Warsaw Pact forces. West Germany's military was characterized by a robust inventory of tanks, advanced communication systems, and ample supplies of ammunition, reflecting the intense security demands of the era. This readiness was supported by substantial and consistent defense spending, aligning with West Germany's role as a key NATO member, positioned at the sharp edge of the East-West divide, an obligation to its allies that Germany would do well to remember. Fast forward to today, and we see a force that is no longer as sharp as a knife, but rather as blunt as a spoon. But it's not just about the gear, guns, and ammunition. Compounding the Bundeswehr's challenges further are significant recruitment issues and infrastructure shortcomings. The armed forces are currently experiencing a concerning trend of shrinkage, with approximately 20,000 jobs unfilled, despite an urgent need for expansion to bolster its capabilities. This situation is made even worse by the poor state of military infrastructure, where bases, plagued by neglect and underfunding, have become unattractive places to live and work, with some barracks requiring personnel to pay for wifi. Wi-Fi access. That is, if they even have Wi-Fi. Such conditions not only deter potential recruits, but also demoralize current personnel, undermining efforts to revitalize and expand the military workforce. But then, of course, this is Germany, so complicating these issues further is a dense layer of bureaucracy and organizational inefficiencies that stifle efficient spending and modernization efforts. In fact, Eva Hergel has also highlighted these hurdles in her report, pointing out how bureaucracy Democratic red tape impedes the Bundeswehr's path to modernization and readiness. Needless to say, the task ahead is monumental, requiring sustained commitment and strategic vision to rebuild and modernize Germans' military into a force ready for the challenges of the 21st century and once again play its part in European security and as a NATO member. To find out more about the challenges facing Germany in the wake of the immigration crisis, check out our next video, linked here.